Hi, I'm Bill Kinney, and this is video number 24 of my series on arithmetic, algebra, and graphing. Subseries 3 and part 3 of that third subseries. Decimals, real numbers, and percentages with an emphasis on calculator usage. I'll start this video by going back to some of the problems in the last video and going back to thinking about percentages. Remember the word percent means per 100. So 1 tenth is the same as 10 over 100. 10 out of 100 means 10 percent. 10 out of 100 is a, is a way to think of that. 1 one hundredth is the same as 1 percent. Think of this as 1 out of 100. What about these other ones? 1 one thousandth. Well, they said you can also take the decimal and when you convert to a percentage, you can move the decimal to the right two places. So this one as a decimal is going to be 0.1%, and don't forget to put the percent sign. In effect, that's one-tenth of 1%. One you could think of this as one-tenth times one one-hundredth. With this one, you'd move it to the, to the right two spots, and it would be right there. You would get 0.01% in effectively one one-hundredth of 1%. One one-hundredth times one one-hundredth is one ten-thousandth. With these other examples, we saw that one-fourth is 0.25. You could think of that as a percentage at the same as 25 out of 100, 25%. One fourth and twenty five one hundredths are equivalent fractions. With one half, it's fifty percent. Ignore the dollar symbol, I was just putting it there if we were thinking of it as being dollars. With these things, you move the decimal to the right two spots. With this one, you're going to get twelve point five percent, and with this one, you'll get six point two five percent. Alright, so that's the method. We'll continue to think about percentages um, in other contexts as we go. Let's do some more fraction decimal conversions. Another common one you should know is one-fifth. What is that as a decimal? Think about it. Maybe you know. Write it down. If you don't know, how do you figure it out? Well, I know that ten-fifths is two. And I know that one-fifth could be thought of as one-tenth of ten-fifths, because the tens will divide out. In other words, two times one-tenth, which, based on our decimal place value system, is the same as 0 0.2, or just 0.2 for short. So there is your decimal representation of one-fifth. It's the same as 20 cents if you're talking dollars as being your whole unit. What's three-fifths? Well, you can think of that as three times one-fifth. And since you can think of one-fifth as being two times one-tenth, you could substitute there. You could think of this as three times two times one-tenth. Substituted this expression, two times one-tenth, in place of the one-fifth. By the associative property, that's the same as 3 times 2 times 1 tenth, which is 6 times 1 tenth, or 0 0.6. Okay, so you can use properties of integers and rational numbers and algebraic type properties like the associative property um, to help us justify the decimal representations that we're getting here. What about something more complicated? Like, well, you might wonder about one-third. Maybe you know it. I'm going to skip one-third for the moment still. Well, maybe we should do one-third. I'm going to, I'm going to write, write down the answer based on the hint from the calculator that we're going to get. But I'm not going to explain it for the moment. If I type in 1 divided by 3, what does the calculator spit back? 0.3333333333. Is that the true answer? 
it's actually not the true decimal form of one third is 0.3333 where the threes go on forever and ever without ever stopping. It's called 0.3 repeating for short and is written for short as a 0.3 with a bar over it to save time. The bar means the three repeats. Um, I don't go, want to go into why that's the case at the moment. Uh, but it is something worth remembering. Two-thirds is worth remembering as well. 0.6 repeating. The 6 goes on forever. You can write it as a 0.6 with a bar. I will make a comment that when you approximate these things, if you approximate this to any fixed number of decimal places, like five decimal places, you'd stop right there. This, by the way, is an approximation symbol. It's in a, a curvy equal sign. With this one, however, if you were approximating, approximating it to, say, five decimal places, with the last one, you'd, you'd round up to a seven, um, because six is closer to 10 than it is to, to zero, um, is the reason for that rounding up. So it really is six going, six is going on forever, but um, you would round to a seven in the last spot wherever, with whatever number of places you're rounding to. To wrap up this video by thinking a little bit about the number line now. We'll, we'll use the ruler to help us. The relationship between fractions, decimals, and the number line. Let's draw a line here first. As straight as I can without the ruler to help me. Let's mark this spot as being zero right there. And longer here. Even though on the ruler, uh, I'm going to put the, the edge of the ruler at the zero there, like that. And even though you see a one, two, three, four, etc. on the ruler like it shows, I'm going to consider the 10 to be the same as 1, just to make things easier to see. These are in centimeters here. So this is 10 centimeters, but I'm going to consider that to be one unit right there. Where are fractions and decimals on the number line? They, they are on the number line. Let's mark off some of them. One-tenth is one-tenth of the way between zero and one. Sorry about this. One-tenth is a tenth of the way between zero, one, and one. And that's the same as 0 0.1. It's going to be on this scale where the one is there. This number right about there is going to represent one tenth, which is 0 0.1. It takes 10 of those lengths to make up one unit here. Two tenths, which is the same as one fifth, it's going to be right there. Two tenths, 0 0.2, which is the same as one fifth, is there. It takes five of those lengths side by side to make up one unit of length. What about a half? That's the same as 0 0.5. It should make sense. It's going to be halfway between 0 and 1. It's going to be where the 5 is there. Right about there. That's a half. 0 0.5, the same as it's also 5 tenths, if you prefer. What about a fourth? A quarter of the way. It's going to take four of them. Uh, here's 0 0.2, here's 0 0.3, 0 0.25 is halfway between those, right about there. That's 0 0.25, which is 1 fourth, which is 25 hundredths, 25% um, of the way from 0 to 1, or different ways you can think about that. Uh, finally, real quick, what about 1 eighth and 1 sixteenth? One eighth as a decimal was 0.125. Here's the 0 0.1. 0 0.12 is a little further to the right there. Can you see that? And there's a 0.13, maybe right about there. Halfway between them, somewhere right about there is 1 eighth. And 1 16th was 0 0.0625. 0 0.06 is going to be right about there, 0 0.07. 
a quarter of the way between 0 0.06 and 0 0.07, somewhere right around there is 1 16th. This is, of course, impossible for me to measure precisely here, but um, hopefully you got the idea.